and in this video I'm gonna show you how I got that done. So welcome back to the EKD21 Media, the channel where we teach you how to step up your video production in the simplest and easiest way possible. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribing. So the Canon M50 is a very good camera for social media. I'm currently working on a review for it, so if it's out, will be up here. But with any filmmaking, getting your audio right is key. I know you've probably heard this before, but most people will happily sit through a video that's quite low quality, but the audio is okay. But almost nobody will sit through a video with very bad audio quality. And that's because our ears are more sensitive than our eyes, if that makes sense. Like right now I have a massive light in front of me and my eyes are doing quite okay but the computer's doing some eh, sounds and my ears are just like, stop it. Anyways, let's talk about audio levels. So step one is to always, always, always set your audio levels to be low on the camera. And this is so that your mic does all of the heavy lifting. Canon is very well known for having quite crappy preamps as opposed to Sony and Panasonic. To be honest, you shouldn't be relying on the preamps of a camera. You should let the microphone do the majority of the work. In post, you can always bring them up a little bit. Otherwise, if you do the opposite, the preamps will make the microphone pick up all of the external sounds. And if there's none of it, it will introduce noise into your audio. You sometimes get hissing sounds that so makes your audio sound quite amateur as well. So with the Canon M50, I recommend you set your audio levels below 12 decibels. That is just to avoid any peaking. It would differ if you're in a very quiet room and you're quite far away But for a rule of thumb, I would keep it below 12 decibels And this is how you pretty much do it on the Canon M50. In the first menu, you can go to sound recording Make sure it's on manual. If it's on auto, get out. Just get out. No, honestly, if it's on auto, what it will do is it will say you're shooting an interview or you're recording yourself speaking and you don't say anything for a while. The camera will think, oh, there's not much sound that is being picked up. Let me increase the gain of the microphone. And then say, for example, you start speaking, you're going to peak because it's going to be a very loud point. And then the camera's going to be like, oh, this is too loud. Let me bring it down. And by that point, you've already peaked. In many situations, once your audio peaks, that's the end of it. Forget about it. It's a bit like when you overexpose your camera. Set it so that your values just peak below 12. Step two, shoot in a quiet room. It's quite obvious, but in some cases, it's uncontrollable. Turn your air conditioning off, turn your computer fan off, close your windows. It just stops any external noise from getting into your audio. In the video where I reviewed the Rode Video Micro, I had a lot of cushions, fluffy toys, and that kind of dampens the audio. If you're in a room that has a lot of hard services, you might get a little bit more echo. Step number three is to get close to your subject. I know shotgun mics seem like they're the best microphones in the world and they can pick up anything, but you're gonna get the clearest and the best sound when you are quite close to the person. With your video mic, you don't wanna get any further than two meters or three meters. Otherwise you start picking up all of the audio around you. If I get further back like this, hello, it's not as clear as if I I'm closer like that of course that's why in studios you use microphones like these that are right by your mouth so you get the clearest sound and step number four is that in the event of any hissing or your audio is really bad there are some corrections that can be made and here is a few on Premiere Pro there is a denoiser that actually works very very well I've used it when there has been tractor noises ambience from a farm area so it works surprisingly well however the downside is that your audio might become a bit underwatery so it sounds like it's underwater a bit of an echo but you can just play with the dials until it's okay to be honest it's better than having stuff in the background that distracts your viewer from the message that you're trying to give in your video alternatively if if you want to go one step further, there is Audacity. Audacity is a free program that you can get on PC and I'm pretty sure you can get it on Mac as well. And you can actually edit your audio there. So what you would do is you first you, you will export your audio file. You take that into Audacity. Then you will click and select an area that has no speaking in it, but it has the sort of background noise that you are getting. Now you click on effects and you click noise removal. Then you click get noise profile. Then you select all of your audio, the rest of your audio, and then you go back to effects click noise removal and then tweak the dials until your preview is sufficient it is an audio editing software so it's specific to that but if you're just really run and gun and you want to get this thing done quickly give the noise removal a try on Premiere Pro so that's pretty much it from me today I hope that I've helped you increase your sound production quality it is definitely a key feature in video production and increasing your video production is what the channel is all about so consider subscribing and if you like this video leave it a like any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.